Hi, quilters. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. Welcome to today's special event called Fall International Sewing Month. Today, Eric and I will be sharing fun tips and tricks to help you kick off National Sewing Month. That's right. National Sewing Month began back in September of 1982 with President Ronald Reagan declaring that sewing at home was so important in the U.S. It still is. Yes. Since 2005, there's been a theme for National Sewing Month. This year's theme is seams and scissors. There you go. And along with this year's theme, there's exclusive tutorials, patterns, giveaways, and more that are all featured on the National Sewing Month's official website. You can also learn more about this fabulous month's history, past themes, and find more projects on their website as well. All right, well, Pam, all of this talk of National Sewing Month, and personally, I cannot wait for Labor Day weekend so that I can have plenty of time to sew during my retreat. Me too, and actually I am flying out for a quilting retreat oh. and then spend some time with my family. Well, that's pretty excited. Yeah. Are you all packed and ready to go? I am ready to go, are you? <laughs> no, but no. <laughs> I think you can help me pack up maybe later during the show. Sounds like a great idea. Since we're having a super busy preparing for the holiday weekend and I have a flight to catch, this will be a shorter show than usual. Yes, but we just wanted to share our tips and tricks when traveling. We did, and as a special treat for today's shorter show, we're gonna give you an exclusive sneak peek of the September Die to Try. That's right, September's Die to Try will really help you create some stunning quilts. It has been so much fun to work with, so make sure to tune in next week on Tuesday for a full trunk show and tons of inspiration using this new die. But for today, we have tons of things to share with you, so let's get started. As always, we have great prizes, inspirational project ideas, an exciting trunk show, and amazing deals. Now, Quilter, since today is a special event, we've got special offers for you. That's right. To get your order in, open up a new tab, type in accuquilt.com slash party. It'll take you directly to the site so you can place your order. That way you won't miss a minute of our show. Now we have our Labor Day sale going on for a limited time. You can get 35% off select Go fabric cutters, Go dies, cubes, storage solutions, and quilting books. No code is needed to redeem the offer, but some exclusions apply, so be sure to check the website for details. And in addition to that, we have an offer that is just for National Sewing Month. You can get 20% off machine embroidery downloads no code needed. This offer excludes embroidery CDs and is only available online, so be sure and take advantage of this great deal while you can. That's right. Now, we had plenty of embroidery inspiration to help you get started from our last Let the Quilting Adventure Begin. It was last Friday, so be sure to check it out on YouTube or Facebook if you missed it. There were some amazing things, like the Zookeeper Gnome. Like the Zookeeper Gnome. We also have the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set on sale. We do. The Go Me is our smallest and lightest weight fabric cutter, making it perfect for quilting on the go. You can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, check the store locator at the top of the page at AccuQuilt. Com. All right, so you said earlier that you're all packed and ready to head out, right? I am. Mm -hmm. um, I filled up my rolling tote the other day, so I'm just all ready to go. Uh -huh. Okay, well, the idea of packing everything into one of our rolling totes is a great idea. So I feel like we should show one to our quilters. All right, Let's so take a there's look. our green rolling tote. Yes, here we go. All right, I gotcha. There we go. All right. I'm going to move so, it here to the middle. It comes in two colors. Yes. It black and green. Yes. We've got a great front pocket, extra pocket there. So this is great for your smaller dies. Yes. For your rulers. Rulers, pins, this is where everything. I put my sewing supplies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Inside, it's big enough for a Go fabric cutter, but yes. I'm actually taking the Go Me and a cube. Oh. It will fit in there. Okay. And then this back pocket um, is great for our cutting mat or smaller one or our strip dies in right. mats. And um, make sure you throw in your cutting mats in the back. That's right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put this oh, down right Okay. Here. So we'll just... Yep. We'll grab it when we're ready to pack. Now this tote is a lot bigger than it seems. So take a look how easy it was to pack for my quilting retreat. <music>
room for all those basic supplies like you need. Okay, so I included in mine, Erica, I have some of this. I have a wool pressing mat and an iron. I feel like you're gonna need that, yes, right? Yes, yes. And the little steam fast iron is on our website and it's just perfect for travel. So I pack one, you'll wanna take one as well. Okay, well, I can't sew without those two items. I will also need scissors. Now, these are the Karen K. Buckley's that we've got. They're my favorites. And two sizes. And two sizes. And I'll need a rotary cutter. There you okay, go. And a ruler. This is right. the, the six by 12. I think that's a great and, size to take. And um, a rotary cutting mat. Right. Oh, and here we have this one. Um, this is a 16 by 24, so it's going to fit in the back. Oh, okay. And well, I'll let's just slide right let's in there. Check it out. Oh, look at that. It's going to slide right in. Pam, do you want to hand me some supplies here and I'll... That. All right. So let's start scissors. with our scissors. Okay. Oh, and I got you a rotary cutter. Okay. Oh, the stiletto. stiletto. That's important. Thank you. And this will slide There's right my ruler. in there. Yep, it sure will. All right, it's in. Don't forget thread. Oh, all this. right. So yes, I I love that six by twelve ruler for yes. traveling. So you'll need some thread. Yes. And let's open it up and show inside. It's great because it has all of those fun colors. It does. And basic gray. Love it. From our good friends at Orafil. So I'll put this back on you here. You can buy that on our website. You can, and pins, because oh, you're traveling. Pins. I'm traveling, so I need my pins. Yep. All right, I'll let you All right. add those. Okay. And then, um, you can add those, and then I'll hand you your okay. mat. Okay, sounds good. And an iron. These I are going to go in the front. to put it in the main section. Okay. I'm going to put my thread, I think, in the main section, too. There you go. Okay. There's a little pressing mat. A little pressing mat in there. And, and my iron. Fast iron. Perfect. All right, looking good. I think you're getting ready to go. Okay. All right, now I need to make a note though that I need some extra needles and some extra bobbins when I pack my sewing machine. That's a great idea. Okay. So what cutter are you taking? Did you say you're taking the Gomi? I am. I decided to take the Gomi since it's smaller and lightweight and since I'm traveling out of town. And since we have such a fantastic sale price on the Gomi mm -hmm. right now, I think we should show it off and what comes in the box. Oh, that's a good call. Okay, let's grab our Gomi. It is our smallest and lightest weight cutter, but it comes with two dies. And you know there are over 180 patterns that you can make using these two dies. Yes, so I'm gonna show you the two dies. The okay. first one is the three inch finished quarter score triangle. So you can see right here are the blades. Yep. And we've cut off the dog ears right here. So this corner to this corner, that quarter inch seam. It's all built in. It's all it's built fabulous. in. Fabulous. And then a three inch finished half square triangle. Yes. That same concept. And together, these two uh, dies can make over 160 patterns. 180. I, 180. See? 180. All right. So shall we cut some half square yes. triangles and let everybody show them how it works? Okay, so don't forget, we've followed the sub-cutting instructions. We've right. measured from here to here at a quarter of an inch. And we just cut with the fabric. And you can always cut six layers of cotton. That's right. All right. Now, I, you and I have a little go-me right next to our sewing machines every day. Because, you know, how often do you not cut enough pieces for something? Just the other day, Pretty I needed... the time two pieces from the morning start. Plus it's really handy to cut up your scraps. It is. Okay. All and right. I put two different colors together here for us so that we've got, can, are, they're ready to sew. So if right. you're gonna sew something together, put them, lay them on the die together, okay. and that way you're gonna have two different colors. Yeah, look at how fun that is. Yeah. All right, well, and the quarter square triangles, they'll work just the same. Perfect. All right, well, I decided I'm going to take the Go Fabric Cutter with me because I'm driving and I've got plenty of room in my car and it's gonna give me some more dies that I can work with. Now, if you get a Go Fabric Cutter by itself, it comes with one die and a mat and the die is such a great value. We actually call it the Go Value die. So let's talk about that. I All think right. I put one over yep, there right for here. You. All right, so it comes on a six by 12 cutting mat. Yep, I'm gonna take these. Perfect. And it comes with three shapes, a four inch finished square, 
a two inch finished half square triangle mm -hmm. and a two inch finished square. There are so many things that you can do just with this die. These are such common shapes mm -hmm. found in quilting too. And they work together to make four patches or nine patches or all of those kinds of things. All right, so let's lay our fabric on our die and we're gonna run it through our Go Fabric Cutter. Now here's something to remember. You don't have to have the same color on every single shape. You can have different colors on the different shapes. Yes. And you can also just cut one shape. If I just wanted half square triangles, I could just put the half square triangle fabric, put a six by six mat on it, and yeah. go ahead and cut it. Perfect. It would be good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put that up to there, put that up to there, we're all ready to go. Excellent. We're going to put a cutting mat on it. Now, the great thing about this cutter, the handle turns both directions so mm -hmm. the die can move this way or this way. It's really fast and easy. And remember, we put those shapes on the die at an angle, and you always want to have your lengthwise grain the same direction as the shape on your die. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's squares. So oh, I think we cut, you can cut up to six layers. Let's see here. We've got four of these squares. And we cut five, looks like maybe six, or five, six. Cut six, you've got 12 little half square triangles that you're cut, cutting, that's amazing. And then your six. squares. So there's your, there's a lot that you can do just with those pieces that you cut, so. I think that's great. I think I will take that die with me. Excellent. All right, Eric, why don't I help you put this in your tote? Great, and I'm gonna show you a tip. Did you this remember? This is a trick. This is a great trick. There is an elastic band inside the top, and that will go over the handle to keep the cutter top open. I'm gonna pull my thread out Excellent. for you. And then look, it's gonna fit right inside. It's gonna fit right inside. I've got plenty of room. And stand right there, and I'll hand you that value die and okay. a mat. I want that. What happens with that amount? Nothing. Okay. Okay, I've still got plenty of room to work with in here. Perfect. Great. All right, quilters, we have a couple of samples to show you of things that you can make with just one of those cutters and the dies inside. That's right, and we're gonna start off with this. No, we're not. You don't get to see this one yet. <gasps> oh, it's a secret. It's a secret, it's a secret. Okay. okay, now I'll show you this one. Here you go, this is the Go Value Die Sampler Quilt. This one, this whole quilt is made just with that value die that comes in the box with the Go. And I think it's great, a good sampler quilt is always so much fun. Yes. And you can totally use up your scraps and your stash to make it it's super beautiful. fun. Simple super quilting fun. on the back, we just did lines. I love those wavy lines too. Yes, perfect. So next up, we want to show you one that we made with the dies from the Go Me. And this is the Go Ocean Waves Throw Quilt. I love this one. This is darling. This is by Heidi Pridemore of the Whimsical Workshop. And look, this is just half square triangles for days. And does it not look so complicated? It but looks it's so not. complicated. We're breaking this all down into half square triangles. You can look. So where you see, you're, you're looking and you're thinking, oh, is that a trapezoid? No, it's half square triangles. And that was a great tip that we talked about. If you're gonna sew them together, cut them together. That's right. All right, let's show one more. This is another great example oh, of like half square one. triangles. This is the Go Walk Around the Block quilt by Christy Bowman of A Quilter's Touch Long Arm Quilting. She's used Moda fabrics. I love the, the just subtle shapes. This is all that value die half square triangle. Isn't that so Isn't pretty? Isn't that pretty? And I love those old fashioned colors. The, I do too. The dusty rose and the teal. It's very sweet. I like it a lot. All right, well, I love how we have ready-made bundles for our fabric cutters because that way it's easy to get started on your next project. But how lucky is it that we have fabric bundles for our lucky oh, viewers. Man, these are so Listen, wonderful. We really, really, really did really, not want to send these out we today. We really, really did. Our good friends at Michael Miller Fabrics are helping make this a great kickoff for National Sewing Month with two selections of fabrics for us to give away. 
Erica, would you not like to give it to keep it yourself? I would love to because between the teals and the the purples, I am in quilter it's called heaven. Frost, fairy, fairy frost. frost. Fairy and frost. look, it it's has sparkles. the gray and the thing. It's, it's so beautiful. Fabulous. Okay, but we're going to give it away. <sighs> the first winner of Michael Miller Fabric Selection is drum roll, please. Cheryl G of Garland, Texas. Cheryl, look how pretty. Oh, I could go home and make something with it. I today. could too, and I hope our winners do. The second winner of a Michael Miller Fabric Selection is drum roll, please. Kathleen H. from Lake Worth, Florida. Congratulations. Congratulations both of our win winners. And a huge shout out to Michael Miller for sponsoring today's special event with Fairy Frost. With Fairy Frost. All right, cool. Everything's better with Fairy Frost. It is. <laughs> Don't forget we have special offers available for you today, including our Labor Day sale for 35% off select categories. Check our website for more details because some exclusions do apply. And for National Sewing Month, you can take 20% off machine embroidery downloads. No code needed. Plus, you can get a fantastic deal on the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set to always help you cut time and save more to quilt more while you travel. That's right. And you can save more right now, it's on sale. That's right. Oh, I do wish I could take one of those fabric bundles with me. Me too. But one thing I do know I'm taking is a Go Mix and Match Cube, but I'm not really sure what size. Uh, did I see a cube in your bag? I did. Um, I put one in there along with my Go Me, mm. and I'm taking the six inch finished block size okay. with me. This way I've got eight different shapes that will work together if I happen to get inspired to start something new, which has been known to do on retreats. So let's open one up <laughs> yes, and has. see what's inside. Do you want to tell everybody what's in that? So the first thing you always want to pull out is the small skinny one. And that one's going to have your mat. It's also going to have a pattern booklet for you and some directions to help you get started. Right. All right. And then um, I think we have a oh, yeah. few step outs yeah. here. Oh, you have some I have too. some too. Okay. Okay, so shape number one in every cube is a square. That's Four right. of these sewn together in this case makes an eight inch block. Six or inch, six inch block. block. Yeah, because we have a six inch cube. Yeah. And then all the other shapes combined together equal shape number one. So shape number two in every cube are smaller squares. That's right. Big so, squares, little squares. So four of shape two are always going to equal one of mm -hmm. shape number one. And then I think you have some of shape number three, our favorite I shape. do, and that's our big half square triangle. Yes. And this is a key piece because half square triangles, we've already seen, you can do pretty much anything. Right. All right, next I have the... Uh, quarter square triangles, which is shape number four. Again, we have those dog ears, that quarter inch seam right. allowance. It's got, keep in mind, it's finish size is different than the so, cut size. Right. right, so four of those sewn together is gonna equal one of shape number one. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna relate back to that shape number one size. Shape number five in every cube are small half square triangles. So four of these sewn together would equal shape number one. And some people are going to say, oh, I'm really never going to cut those. Oh, but you really are. You really are. You're going to use it. It's like our little workhorse. Yes. Okay. And then we have our square on point. Yes. So the square on point is meant to live on its tippy toes. The shape that's going to go around it, Erica, to make square and square. Shape number five. Shape number five. And we have lots of videos on our YouTube we do. channels. We and do. We do. Um, Website, shape number seven, a parallelogram. And happily enough, shape number five is going to fit on either side to turn it into a rectangle. The long side. The long side, a rectangle yes. that's going to be equal to the rectangle that is shape number eight. Yep. So now, Erica, um, we get this question a lot. Um, on our strip die, do you cut parallelograms? You actually cut diamonds. Cut diamonds. This is a parallelogram, and yes, there is a difference. Okay. All right. right. So I love that. The six I'm inch thinking. is a great size because then if you're making a nine patch, yes. it's going to finish at nine inches, like yes. a churn dash. You know how I love a good churn dash block. You do block. like a good churn dash block. Well, when I head off for retreat or a sew day, I kind of like to cut my project out ahead of time. It's like making my own pre-cut kits. And that way I can just have it all ready to go 
but I can always bring some extra fabric just in case I'm short a piece or two. Yes, and that's a really great tip. Plus you can put everything you need for the project together in one bag, including your pattern. It's gonna help you stay organized no matter yes. where you are. Yes, now one thing I never leave home without is a strip die. And I usually take the two and a half inch cut one. And of course, a mat. Now. Of course, having a cube is a need for quilters, right? but a strip die is essential. And that's why I'm taking one too, but I decided to take the multi-strip die. Oh, that is such a great this die. This is really great. So it cuts a one, a, a one, one and, and a half. half, and a two inch strip. I did think about that for a minute. It cuts all three sizes. Yes. And it's great for like a classic rail fence block. And you don't have to cut all of the strips. Right. A couple of weeks ago on a Wednesday, I showed you how to cut just the center strip mm -hmm. if you wanted to. And I like it a lot because it's going to be, if the two inch is going to work with my six inch cube. That's fabulous. That is great. And it's great for scraps too. Don't forget a mat. All right. So... It also will make the classic rail fence block. So that's a really good one to take along. It is. And, and let's look at some samples now that are made with that six inch cube and the multi-strip, okay? Let's do. Okay. So this is one of my all time favorites and it is the um, Go Six Inch Star Surprise and it's a big quilt. And you don't think, oh, a six inch cube, it's gonna make very big blocks, but look at how pretty look how this pretty is. Look how pretty that is. And it makes a really good size quilt. And it's a very scrappy look, but you mm -hmm. could use this with any fabric. This is all yummy batiks, but you could use it with seasonal fabric. You right. could use it with solids, prints, just would give it a whole different look. You could even make it for Halloween. You could. I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun to take and have like a fabric swap? Oh, that's a good and idea. Swap some fabric and use other people's fabrics and make it all scrappy. Depends on whether you like their taste in fabric. I only I go to retreats with people that have very similar taste in it. I do. <laughs> all right, the next Just, one up is yeah. one of my favorites, and this is the <gasps> Looking for Treble Table Runner. She can never say that I normally. I can't. Okay, so did you know we have a musical note style? We do. It's the Go uh, Music, Music Medley. Medley. And it has the base clef and the treble clef. And we used our multi-strip nope. die to make it look like. To make our, our music staff. Yes. And look at fabulous that is. This would be fun like on a project for a kid's backpack or a book bag mm -hmm. if they were going Oh, for to, carrying sheet music piano for lessons. piano lessons. Yep. yep. And then we do have a rail fence. So, and this is a, a fun one because this is a very modern, you know, rail fence is an old, old, design but this is a really modern take on it because Look it's all cool. solids it's all very vibrant colors but you could do this in anything or just with your scraps yep how fun is that it really is great it'd make a good table runner it could make you could oh do it yeah for a, you could do it for a, a pillow cover all of the all things. the things all right well you know there's one more thing that i want to sneak into my bag before i leave and I bet you already packed one. Heck yeah. Are you talking about September's Die to Try? Okay, it doesn't launch until Tuesday, but we don't care. <laughs> there is one in my bag. It is September 1st, and we're going to show it to you. That's right. And since we promised you a sneak peek, we want to show you the die. And since August Die to Try, the Go Mill and Star sold out in just eight days, everyone watching can get an early jump and get an order in starting today. You ready? Ready? Here it is. This is the Go Whirling Star. Here, Erica's oh, showing the block. Here's That's the block. better than the die. Here's the block. Look at this. The Go Whirling Star is a block on board. It makes a 12 inch finish block. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And it only has three shapes. Mm -hmm. It comes on a six by 24 die board. So yes, it will fit in my Go Me fabric cutter. Yes, it will. Okay, make sure you have a uh, six by 24 cutting mat. And yes, oh, yes I'm indeed. taking to the retreat. And yes, I'm making whirling star blocks. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it makes stunning blocks just like this one. And we have one sample to show you today. Yep. Hold Erica on. loves it because it's all the purples. Well, it is all the purples. So hold on, here it is. This is the Go Whirl and Twirl Wall Hanging. And it's by Susie Webster of Webster Quilt. And look how fun this is. Darling. Isn't this, oh. 
It's darling. It and is so fun. Look at the quilting on the back. Fabulous quilting. Good job, Susie. She's really accentuated the design. Mm -hmm. We're just going to have so much fun with this dye. And if you want to catch one of these stars, you can jump on the website right now or visit your local AccuQuilt retailer starting today. Today. You don't have to wait till Tuesday. Don't. No, that way you could make a whirling star quilt over the long weekend. You could. Okay, that's my you could plan, make this. by the way. <laughs> and be sure to join us again next week on Tuesday, September 6th. That's right. For this Die to Try's launch party called Start September with Stars. That's right. We'll be showing all the Go Whirling Star Dye tips, the tricks, and all the patterns to help inspire your next project. So be sure to register for this event on our event page because remember, that's how you have a chance to win door prizes. So fun. It also helps you remember to watch. It does. It sends you a little reminder. Yeah. All right, quilters, that's not all. Well, listen, we couldn't keep this to ourselves, so we have Go Whirling Star Dye bundles available for you today, September 1st, and they are ready to ship today. To get your order in, open up a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party. It'll take you directly to the site and you may place your order for the dye to try. Now that first bundle we have is the Go Whirling Star 12 inch finish dye with matte bundle. You're gonna get the Go Whirling Star dye and that six by 24 inch cutting mat. You, um, there's also the Go Block and Board Favorites 12 inch die bundle, which includes the brand new Go Whirling Star, finishes to 12 inches. My all time favorite, the Go Morning Star die, the Arkansas Traveler and the Setting Triangles, all of them finished to 12 inches. Two cutting mats, six by 24 and 10 by 24. I saw you petting that. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, can I tell you what I'm gonna do with it? Yes. Okay. I am totally gonna make it scrappy here. Yeah. And then these a solid and the outside. So these oh. six pieces or eight pieces in the yeah. middle, I'm gonna make scrappy. Cool. I already have a plan. Oh, okay. Well, the bundle is perfect for that. Last bundle is perfect for those who wanna mix and match their 12 inch blocks and set them on point. Yes. And remember, you can get 35% off select Go fabric cutters, Go dies, Go cubes, storage solutions. Now's mm. the time to get organized before the big Christmas holiday rush and you're trying to find stuff. We also have a great selection of quilting books during our Labor Day sale. No code is needed for the offer, but some exclusions do apply. Check the website for details. And you know, that storage solution is important. The rolling tote, you know, helps me keep organized, but having i mean the cube is its own storage solution it right it is um and here's here's something fun um i met a quilter who stores her holiday off season mm -hmm. dies in her rolling tote oh well there you go you know so when it's not halloween and we're sad <laughs> Isn't it always <laughs> Halloween in your house? It always is. <laughs> we also have a deal for National Sewing Month. You can get 20% off machine embroidery downloads, excluding embroidery CDs. Now, no codes needed to help you redeem that offer. And don't forget the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set is marked down, and the new Die to Try will fit in it. <gasps> I should make a Halloween block. Yes, I can't believe you just now said that. Maybe I already did. Okay. <laughs> well, if you are taking the GoMe with you for your retreat because of how easy it is for you to fly it is. with, and it is our smallest and lightest weight cutter. It only weighs less than six pounds, so I can take it with me on the plane. Remember, you can quilt now, pay later, get your financing today at AccuQuilt.com slash financing. You know, in case you shop for fabric or acquire something new while you're there. <sighs> Imagine that. Just imagine. And to help one of our lucky viewers quilt now instead of later, we have another fun kickstart to National Sewing Month. We've got another giveaway. That's right. We're going to give away that multi-go strip die. It cuts a one, one and a half and two inch strip to a lucky viewer who is registered for today's show. All right. The lucky winner of a go strip cutter, one inch, one and a half inch and two inch strip die is, drum roll please. It's Margaret P. from Horseshoe Bay, Texas. Congratulations, Margaret. Okay. All right, it's time for me to finish packing yes. for my Labor Day trip and for Pam to catch your flight. I am this afternoon. We hope you all enjoyed today's sewing and packing tips, tricks, and inspiration, and that you're as excited as we are about the early release of September's Dye to Try, the Go Whirling Star 12-inch finished dye.
I got to make it in Halloween now. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If you've been waiting here for our show to end before you buy, now is that time. Here is the link. Get everything you need while items are available to ship. And hey, if you, okay, listen, if you get yeah. the Go Whirling Star dive this weekend, yeah. you know, and start making projects, share them with us next oh, week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we want to see them. them. All right, remember at AccuQuote, we help you cut time. So you can quote more. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend. We'll, we'll see, see you on next. Tuesday. Bye-bye.